I'm here to talk about the SCT. It stands for State Configurable Timer, and it's one of NXP's unique configurable peripherals that we're offering on the LPC 1800. And what does it mean um, be, to be configurable? Well, it's flexible to meet you know these customers' requirements, and I think that was one of the most important design um, constraints we had on this particular timer was to be flexible. So my boss came to me when we started this whole endeavor. And he wanted a motor control PWM, he wanted a lighting PWM, he wanted um, a specific PWM for a particular requirement. And the problem with that is it, it just makes, it proliferates all these different ideas into our parts and it makes it specific for that particular application. And we don't know exactly how you're going to use your, our, our timers and applications, so we wanted to give that flexibility to the designer, not to the, not to the guys that are designing the IP. So we introduced the concept of state and event in these timers. And the timer is the basic part of them are the same as you always would expect from any other timer. It does match, capture, and all those other things and with a counter as, it, as its basic component. But the idea of state and event makes it very flexible and um, useful for different applications where you decide what you're going to do with your um, particular requirements, not us. So application examples would be motor control PWMs with dead time. It can be lighting where you have pulse skipping going on, things to control ballast, ignition, and things like that. And also for power supplies. So there's a lot of useful features in this SCT that are applicable to all these different areas. And it's up to you to decide how you want to implement those. So anyway, I hope you find it useful, the SCT. I think uh, we spent a lot of time on it, and we're pretty proud of this timer.